You know, this is one of the only places in the world where street food vendors actually earn Michelin stars. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 rom-coms we want to live in. I'll have what she's having. How are you enjoying your visual medley? It's, it's, it's mundane. It is mundane. It's great, I know. All these streets around here have these mysterious communal gardens in the middle of them. They're like little villages. Let's go in. For this list, we'll be looking at movies that not only tugged on our heartstrings, but made us want to hop into our screens and stay there. If we left out any of your favorites, let us know in the comments. Number 10. Amélie. Who among us doesn't dream of moving to Paris and finding romance? Excusez-moi. For those who've never had the chance to visit the city of love, Amélie became the vehicle through which Parisian dreams were realized. Oh, dans la vitrine de la pâtisserie, il y a des sucettes pierres au gourmand. Hmm, mm, vous sentez ce parfum? C'est pépone qui fait goûter ses melons aux clients. Following the life of the titular character and her quest to help the people around her, the film's success comes from more than just the quirky protagonist at its center. It also comes from the whimsical version of Paris this movie presents. The audience follows Amélie through the winding streets, famous sights, and finally watching her find her true love. Très romantique. Number 9. Roman Holiday You'll find that travel is a big theme on today's list, and our number 9 slot is no exception. Would you be so kind as to tell me where I am? Well, this is what is laughingly known as my apartment. This 1953 film follows Princess Anne, played by the queen of romantic comedies herself, Audrey Hepburn, and reporter Joe Bradley, the dashingly handsome Gregory Peck, as they gallivant around Rome, eluding the princess's security. First wish, one sidewalk cafe, coming right up. Forbidden Love is a tale as old as time, but this one is elevated by Peck and Hepburn's magnetic chemistry, and of course, the incomparable beauty of Roma. <laughs> The image of the two riding through the city on a Vespa has probably inspired more than one romantic getaway, and at least a dozen other movie scenes, from Zoolander 2 to the Lizzie McGuire movie. Are you sure you know how to drive this thing? This is Rome. Nobody knows how to drive. That's amore. Number 8. When Harry Met Sally. If we're talking about romantic comedies, When Harry Met Sally is the pièce de résistance. Would you like to go to the movies with me tonight? Oh. Oh. Well, I'd love to, Harry, but I, I can't. When picturing Nora Ephron and Rob Reiner's iconic rom-com, there's no getting around just how incredible New York looks. There's this guy. What's he look like? I don't know. He's just kind of faceless. Faceless guy. Okay. Then what? He rips off my clothes. Then what happens? That's it. From the leaves in the fall to afternoons at the Met to that infamous scene at Cat's Delicatessen, there are so many iconic places in this film, and we want to visit them all. When it comes down to it, there's only one thing to say about New York City's stunning presence in this movie. We'll have what Harry and Sally are having. Number 7. Notting Hill But if it's turkey you're interested in, um, this one, on the other hand, is very good. Um... I think the man who wrote it has actually been to Turkey, which helps. We're just a YouTube channel standing in front of viewers asking them to subscribe. Okay, not really, but in all seriousness, we are asking to visit Notting Hill just once. Oh, shit. This lovely Hugh Grant and Julia Roberts rom-com plays on its strengths, which are of course the amazing chemistry between its leads and the picturesque English neighborhood where it takes place. All these streets around here have these mysterious communal gardens in the middle of them. They're like little villages. Let's go in. With colorful townhouses, lush gardens, and all the trappings you'd want from a relaxing getaway to the UK, the sights in Notting Hill will make you call up your travel agent immediately. I'm also just a girl. Standing in front of a boy. Asking him to love her. Number 6. Breakfast at Tiffany's for this entry, once again, we give you Audrey Hepburn, but this time in her arguably most iconic role. You don't mind, do you, darling? Yeah. The character of Holly Golightly spawned what seems to be a never-ending parade of Halloween costumes and photos with pastries and coffee outside of Tiffany & Co. The outfits alone are enough to make anyone want to live in Holly's world, from the little black dress and pearls to the sunglasses to the man's shirt and turquoise sleep mask. People do fall in love. People do belong to each other. 
because that's the only chance anybody's got for real happiness. But the romance is quite the draw too. Who hasn't imagined the experience of that magical final kiss in the rain? Number 5. Forgetting Sarah Marshall This entry doesn't necessarily start out with the protagonist in the best of places mentally. Breakups are tough, but as far as physical location, he definitely has it made. What the hell? Oh god. Oh god, I made her kill herself. Everyone knows that Hawaii is beautiful, and there's no denying that the tropical paradise is a big draw for why we want to live in this movie. But the cast of characters really pushes it over the edge. Kunu, call the front desk now. Uh. Okay, monster man. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to stay at the Turtle Bay Resort when this many hilarious people work there? Because you know what? You don't want to be the guy sitting there watching BBC and saying, Oh, I saw that guy. He was my waiter, and I totally dismissed him like everyone else does. Mila Kunis, Paul Rudd, Jonah Hill, and so many others. Just let us know when the check-in time is. Number 4. The Holiday Whether it's a cozy cabin in England or a sprawling Hollywood mansion, this Nancy Myers film has no shortage of beautiful locations, and beautiful houses, and beautiful actors. Look, everything is beautiful. <gasps> it's a Nancy Myers movie. What do you expect? But besides the amazing aesthetic, this rom-com has something extra going for it. Christmas. Not only is it the most wonderful time of the year, but it's one of the most romantic. Turn around! Turn around and go back, please! Did you forget something? Yes. Whether your favorite couple is Iris and Miles, or Amanda and Graham, you can't deny that the holiday season elevated the romance. Who wouldn't want to live in a movie where it's always Christmas? I have the girls' New Year's Eve. Sounds perfect. Number 3. Mamma Mia. You can dance, you can jive. That definitely seems to be the motto of everyone in this movie. It's impossible not to be absolutely giddy while watching Mamma Mia. It's got everything you need Meryl Streep, ABBA songs, and more gorgeous Grecian landscapes than you can count. Across the street. Have you watched the winner takes it all scene lately? It might be the most beautiful thing ever committed to screen. But Mamma Mia is more than its stunning vistas. Everyone in this movie is having a blast. Listen, I'm gotta, I'm gonna, gotta, 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 wow. 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 Listen, oh I know. I know you're going to make a fortune with webs. With webs. Webs. With I know. The cast has admitted to drinking and getting a little loose on set, and while it definitely shows, it also makes you wish you were taking shots right along with them. Number 2. Crazy Rich Asians When two of the words in the title of a movie are crazy and rich, you can expect one heck of a ride. Yeah, usually. Crazy Rich Asians follows Rachel Chu as she tries to navigate the world of her boyfriend's uber wealthy family when she travels to Singapore with him for his best friend's wedding. And what a glamorous world it is. You know, this is one of the only places in the world where street food vendors actually earn Michelin stars. While we definitely don't wish we had to go toe to toe with our partner's mom like Rachel has to do, we do wish we could wear the fabulous clothes, eat the delicious food, go to the lavish parties, and see the beautiful sights. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Eat, Pray, Love. It doesn't get better than Javier Bardem guiding you around the world. It's Pura Melantin, which means Temple of Prosperity. Beautiful. Yeah. Under the Tuscan Sun. Who wouldn't fall in love in Italy? You're asking me to sleep with you? Yes. Hmm. That is exactly the kind of thing we tell him and think American women say. <laughs> Clueless. We are totally bugging for Sharon Josh. Are you saying you care about me? Josh. It's complicated. What's not complicated is how beautiful this movie looks. <laughs> Love Actually. To me, this movie is perfect. I thought you didn't know my name. Of course I do. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I've got to run. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Before Sunrise While not your typical romantic comedy, this movie has without a doubt spawned the most study abroad romantic fantasies. Do you have any idea what they were arguing about? Do, do you speak English? It's the epitome of a story everyone wishes they could insert themselves into. Here's the setup. Two strangers, one American, one French, meet on a train. Get it, I get it. So I'm the crude, dumb, vulgar American who doesn't speak any other languages, who has no culture, right? They decide to get off in Vienna and spend one day together, talking about life, love, and everything else under the sun. It's literally the stuff dreams are made of. But more than romance, the absolute gorgeous city of Vienna shines in this movie. Are you trying to say you want to kiss me? From the Ferris wheel, to the looming churches, to the charming street cafes, every location exudes European charm. I feel like this is uh, some dream world we're in, you know? Yeah, it's so weird. It's like our time together is just ours. It's our own creation. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.